Welcome everybody to ESPN's presentation of the 2013 All-State Sugar Bowl from the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. John Wallace kicks off. Luchez Purifoy for the Gators. And a good return out to the 32-yard line. It's in the country to his right. And the third leading rusher in the SEC. Driscoll comes out throwing, and it's intercepted. Huge play to start the game. Terrell Floyd, touchdown, Louisville. It could not have been a better start for the Cardinals. By Driscoll, the problem is he's off target. The timing's off a little bit. When you have Floyd coming there, just breaking on the ball, keeping receivers in front of him, and I like the tip drill. Does a good job of securing the football, and the transition from catch to run is outstanding. Exactly the game plan that they wanted to implement, come with the zone pressure, bother Driscoll, and they make it pay off with Floyd with the tip drill and the ability to score and finish. High snap, and he handled it, and he's running out of time. Stumbles ahead, but it's still a sack for Florida. Dominique Easley, part of that very talented defensive front, Junior, against the type of competition they're facing tonight. Louisville's Bridgewater throws a strike to Eli Rogers, and he's into Florida territory at the 47-yard line. Bridgewater in that fine receiving core. Bridgewater zings it, caught in traffic at the 31. 11 yard completion to Andrell Smith, another product of Miami, Florida. His 31st catch of the year. Marcus Roberson in on the stop for Florida. I think if you're a Louisville fan, Chris, you have to be greatly encouraged by this start on both sides of the ball for Louisville. Uh, they, they don't seem intimidated and I've never been around a team that has so much confidence in its leader like the players for Louisville have in Teddy Bridgewater. Saw his numbers a terrific third down passer against one of the best third down defenses in the country. The line giving him time he finds a receiver and Corbin Lamb got right to the first down yardage before he got driven back got about a half yard beyond the marker. Shift into an eye. B.J. Butler, the fullback. Check down to Butler. Lots of running room down the sideline, and he bowled his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisville. Let's see if he, well, the knee might have been down just before he got across. Again, Scott Radcliffe again throwing a key block. There's the knee. The ball should be placed about the half yard line from this angle. The drive. Jeremy Wright. Touchdown, Louisville. Offensive lineman in, as you can see, Burton following them around the left corner. Trey Burton across midfield and well into Louisville territory. Tackled by Lorenzo Malden, a defensive line. Gillisley, the third leading rusher in the SEC this year. And Johnny Manziel and George's Todd Gurley. Driscoll hit as he throws, got it off to the far sideline to Gillisley, who dances his way to the 24. Hakeem Smith made the tackle problem 33 yarder is good and that's now as you saw the single season record 24 field goals he holds that mark all by himself the Louisville Bridgewater on target first down Damian Copeland another Floridian from Bradenton sure was Play action pass. Jalen Harrington in the flat with plenty of running room. There's another player who was a defender until about the sixth game of the year. Like B.J. Butler, 27-yarder. He hasn't missed from inside 40 yards, and he still has not missed from in close. Well, Driscoll 
in trouble and swung down back at the 20 by Marcus Smith for the Louisville Cardinals. He's in trouble and taken down by Lorente McRae. Nearly the starter. He had a 103 degree temperature yesterday. They weren't sure he would play. Bridgewater right on target again. Andrell Smith all the way to the 35 yard line of Florida. Jalen, their safety, said he's the best quarterback they'll play this year, including the Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny Manziel. Fowler and Easley combined to blow up that play. Aim for Louisville. They've scored a defensive touchdown. If you just joined us, they scored an interception return in the first play from scrimmage of the game. Dante Parker gets 17 and a first down. And five man rush. Bridgewater throws. It is caught. Touchdown. There is a flag down, but it looked like it's going to be pass interference against Florida. Devontae Parker does it again in the red zone. Crossed the goal line while the ball was in the air. Pass interference. Defense number 15. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. Well, they've converted a third and 14, a third and 10, and now on third and 13, it's a 15-yard touchdown pass. Let's check it to make sure it was a catch and inbounds. It appears to be. The ball's not rolling around, and... Outstanding job of over the shoulder, foot down. Yep, one foot down is all you need in college. He, Kenny Bridgewater, very impressive young man. We certainly enjoyed our visit with Driscoll on target. Caught by Quentin Dunbar. And now in the hurry up for Florida. I'm going to line up and basically throw it almost every down. But they're doing it successfully. Frankie Hammond chopped. Matt Jones, the running back. Driscoll faked it to him. Oh, Marius Hines in space. It swung forward. He has a first down. They're getting it in big chunks here. That's an out to adjust to it. They snap it to Burton. He handed it off for a touchdown to Matt Jones. Well, I'd say both teams are well coached. Terrific creativity. But... And it's an onside kick. And the Louisville players are ready for it. They did not retreat. And they actually had a wide receiver up there on the front line, Andrell Smith, who recovered it. And now flags fly after a skirmish breaks out. But give Louisville credit. They were not retreating. They held their ground and cleanly recovered the attempted surprise onside kick by the Florida Gators. Backfire on Will Muschamp. Bridgewater wants to make them pay immediately, and he does. Touchdown, Damian Copeland. <laughs> Louisville has scored on the first play from scrimmage in both halves. They hit him with the old slant and go. And actually, Purefoy did a good job of not jumping, but his eyes have to go to the He's a wide receiver. They have guys who struggle to get open. Driscoll, look out! Down back of the 26-yard line. Lorenzo Malden with help from Sheldon Rankins. Bridgewater's pass deflected high in the air and intercepted. Josh Evans has the ball for Florida. Now back to their typical offensive look. Out of the pistol, Gillisley, a power run. Down near the 25-yard line. Florida 30 to 10. Huge play here for Florida. Third down 10, the Louisville 26. They go in the bag of tricks. Omarius Hines. Good call and well executed. And a first down, down to the Louisville 11. Running the play clock down into the single digits with almost every snap. Driscoll on third and eight. Zips one. Intercepted. Off the hands of Dunbar. And picked off by Andrew Johnson. Who's chased out of bounds by Driscoll. Play clock down. The five, Florida blitz, out in the flat it goes. Eli Rogers the catch, and he has a first down. 
And now right first through the middle. And as a first down, lost the ball as he hit the ground. Ruled down by contact. It didn't matter as Damian Copeland fell on it. And the dad, John, is in the Louisville section. Field goal is good for Wallace. 30 on Wallace kicks off. Under eight minutes to go. He's fired up, got it into the end zone. Andre DeBose up the far sideline. There he goes. Don't change the channel just yet. Touchdown, Florida. Well, Chris, you mentioned earlier, DeBose hasn't played since late October with a sprained knee. They were hoping he would provide some big plays with his speed tonight. He just did. Yeah, and actually, well executed by Louisville. This is exactly what they want to do. But DeBose does a good job of just hitting it straight. You see big Trey Burton getting a block and really untouched, Sean. He's their most explosive player out on the edges. And find a way to get him the ball one way is to get him back there to return kicks. And he makes it pay off with a good block by Trey Burton. Well, we mentioned at the beginning of the... Five-man rush after Jeff Driscoll. There was a tight spiral for a first down to Quentin Dunbar. Yeah. He will likely be the featured back next year for Florida with the departure of Gillisley. And he has not forgotten who gave him that chance at long last. Dunbar the catch on his knees. From the I formation, yeah. punch it in. Got a six-foot, four-inch, 237-pound quarterback. In the flat, caught. Touchdown! And they're still alive. Kent Taylor, the catch. Driscoll out of the gun. Look out! Wrapped up and thrown down by Marcus Smith. From behind, Driscoll didn't know he was there. Florida did not play Alabama this season. Right. Carries for a first down. And the celebration has begun in earnest on the Louisville sideline in their cheering section. And Charlie <laughs> does get the Gatorade bath. Tom Jurch, the man who gave him the opportunity to be a head coach after 27 years of outstanding service. Congratulations, Louisville Cardinals. All right, Chris, thank you. For Chris Spielman, Quint Kesnick, our terrific crew, Sean McDonough. Happy New Year here, Sports Center.